You ready? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Inez Barron, the chair of the Committee on Higher Education, and today we will vote on resolution number 1559, which calls on the New York State Legislature to pass Assembly Bill 6811, Senate Bill 5120, an act to establish a private student loan task force. According to the Federal Reserve System, national outstanding student debt amounts to more than $1.4 trillion. In New York, as per the state comptroller, student loan debt more than doubled from 2006 to 2015 to $82 billion, and the number of student loan borrowers rose by more than 41% to $2.8 million. In New York City, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York reported that 16.2% of consumers had a student loan with an average balance of $35,300, and 14% of those borrowers were at least 90 days late on their payment. The high student debt that many New Yorkers have to shoulder also affects the economy. It should not come as a surprise that huge student debt burdens, for, burden, that huge student debt burdens force many to take two or three jobs, often at low wage positions, to keep up with their payments, delay having a family, or even buying a house, which has always been the fractured vision of the so-called American dream. For many people, student loans create lasting financial difficulty that cannot be discharged by bankruptcy. The decision to go to college should never hinge on whether one can afford the, the payments. Failing to go to college in today's global economy is severely limiting one's social, economic, and political potential. As many of you know, I have continued to stress the importance of a college degree in today's global economy. While I have not been alone in my vocal support for increasing access to higher education, too many of our policymakers have failed to do their best to ease student debt and make tuition affordable. Back in 2015, in an attempt to mitigate the burden of growing student debt, former President Barack Obama issued a directive that capped borrowers' federal loan repayments to 10% of their income and would have forgiven debt after 20 years of payments. Effectively, it was an expansion of a program offered to borrowers with especially low income, and it was expected to benefit nearly 6 million more Americans. Unfortunately, with more concern for the banks and lenders, the Trump administration reversed President Barack Obama's directive last March. However, Assembly Bill 6811, sponsored by State Assembly Member Marcos Crespo, and the companion bill in the Senate, uh, Senate Bill 5120, sponsored by State Senator Jesse Hamilton, hoped to address the debt burden for New Yorkers with private student loans. The bill seeks to establish a private student loan free, free, uh, refinance task force, which would bring together the State Comptroller, the Higher Education Services Corporation, and lending institutions in New York that offer private student loans to study and report on ways these lending institutions can be incentivized to establish student loan refinancing programs. Though this is a small step toward addressing an ever-growing problem, we must support the state's efforts to address the student debt and offer New Yorkers some relief. This brings us to today's vote on resolution number 1559, which calls upon the state New York State Legislature to pass and the governor to sign A6811 S5120, an act to establish a private student loan refinance task force. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of passing this resolution. I would like to acknowledge my colleagues who are present. We have Councilmember Cabrera, Councilmember Rodriguez, and Councilmember Williams. Additionally, I would like to thank, thank my staff uh, M. Indigo Washington, Director of Legislation, Joy Simmons, my Chief of Staff, um, Omawali Clay, CUNY Liaison, Gichu Kiru Jikuru, Committee Counsel, Chloe Rivera, Committee Policy Analyst, and Jessica Ackerman, Senior Finance Analyst. Uh, now the clerk will call the roll. William Martin, Committee Clerk, Roll Call Vote Committee on Higher Education, Resolution 1559, Chair Barron. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Williams. 
Very important resolution. I hope it passes in the state. And I vote aye. I vote a four in the affirmative, zero the negative, and no abstention. The item has been adopted by the committee. At this point, we're going to hold the roll open for about 10 minutes so that other members will have an opportunity to vote. Thank you. <laughs> 